Oh no, what's happening? That's not a point of order. Take your it's seat. Unac no, no, no. I mean, we're an opposition party. It's our job to hold government and hold the executive accountable. And when you are shut down by the same system, what are you supposed to do? Just sit there and be quiet. You must withdraw that rubbish. He has just spoken. That's rubbish. Honorable member, we had to come and, and radicalize the politics of South Africa and reawaken the youth. It is a very, very dangerous thing for a public to be disengaged in the politics of uh, its own country. The EFF brought about a public interest, but it also brought about engagement. Let's be honest, since the EFF, who knew about SONA? And now pretty much everybody in this country will tell you about SONA. Obviously, it has a shock value, but that shock value is not because it is illegitimate, but it is because it is unusual. <laughs> so that's not turning parliament into a spectacle, but that's illustrating that parliament is also a site of protest in the same way as a street is a site of uh, protest. Removing Zuma was very necessary. You cannot say that you are fighting against the means that make black lives the lives of indignity and then steal from black people. It's been over a month since the damning findings about the security upgrade to President Jacob Zuma's private in Kandla home. The first citizen of this country, it's a president. So when corruption is at that office, nothing else matters. The president last time as well, if you are Kalala and Parliament, so seven Zala, whatever of Terra instead of Utasha Rujimala Kasaka to exist on it. We had to go to the highest office in the land to demonstrate and uh, prepare to pay the price because we're taking over a sitting president who could have arrested us, who could have done anything. But we knew that uh, for this mission that we are in, uh, to fight corruption, we have to take it to the highest office. The implications once a sitting president is found to have misused public funds the way Zuma did. In fact, there was a public protector report that said the man has unduly benefited. People didn't know that. A number of the measures, including buildings and other items constructed and installed, went beyond what was reasonably required for his security. We had virtually concluded this report by April last year. When we got into Parliament, the South Africa's Parliament had already spoken about the report and put it aside. So we, we went to revive it and said, no. My question is very simple, uh, Mr. President. When should you pay back the money and how much? The legislature has a responsibility when an important institution like the public protector has found evidence of corruption on the part of the sitting president. We have a duty as parliament, as the legislature, to hold the president accountable. The immediate consequence of that was in fact a strengthening of the constitutional system because it was the strengthening of the powers of the public protector so that anyone who has been found guilty by the public protector knows that they must comply with those remedial actions. That can only be good for the public because it is only when the tough questions are asked, sometimes not necessarily through the right method, but when the tough questions are asked in parliament, because that is where the executive reports, others, you and I have no very little means of actually holding the executive accountable. President Zuma, it's one of the proud moments of the EFF in corruption busting that uh, we make no apology about. Whether it was Zuma or somebody else, that campaign would have been carried out because EFF has been able to sustain that uh, anti-corruption uh, card and uh, being able to hold government to account on a sustained basis. So I think that uh, was a good start.
It's a story that has gripped South Africa with ripples around the world thanks to comprehensive international news coverage. Palapala is crucial because it really is a portrayal of the criminality, uh, particularly of someone like Ramaphosa who gives this facade uh, into the media and is portrayed deliberately as some messiah, you know, nice guy, and so on. The report, led by former Chief Justice Sandy Lengobo, found that Ramaphosa had a prima facie case to answer on the theft of about 580,000 US dollars from his Limpopo farm in 2020. It's an obvious crime. The reason why money is called legal tender is because legal tender, in South Africa, legal tender is the rent. So you cannot have foreign currency that is unaccounted for on those amounts, uh, on any amount above 30,000 rand. It's, it's simple. You don't have to know the law or be a law professor for this. And yet the system has conspired to protect the guy. The Economic Freedom Fighters has lodged an application at the Apex Court to be admitted as an intervening party in the President's application to review and set aside the Section 89 Independent Panel Report. I can tell you now that there will be a time where Cyril Ramaphosa has to pay for Palapal. must ensure that we restore the dignity of our people without compensating the criminals who stole our land. The argument has always been about land. We can discuss it for days on end. It was always about land because apartheid was about land. Colonialism was about land. From 1652, when we were, uh, disposed of our land and when the visitors came into this country, all the battles that have taken place in this country, Battle of San Juan, in the Kosa land, in Wasutu land, everywhere else, it has been the battle about land, and land is economic freedom. The National Assembly has passed that motion on land expropriation without compensation tabled by the EFF. The process will now be taken to the Constitutional Review Committee that will look at possibly amending Section 25 of the Constitution that deals with land. We went to the people and we made a commitment that we'll give them land. Now when we get to Parliament, we're not going to abandon that. The fact that historically land was taken from black people by force of arms and many other ways. So we move from the premise that white people do not have right over land and therefore it gives legitimacy to expropriate that land without paying a cent because land was not bought. So we put back on the table the land question which the ANC have managed to shell for a very long time. Remember, the ANC was formed as a result of land disposition and our people wanted to repossess their land. The ANC had sold out in 1994. The ANC was not going to address the issues of black people. The ANC was just going to give apartheid a new lease of life. You didn't take the mines. You didn't take the banks. You, you left all those things which the Freedom Charter says you must take. You also didn't take the land. So when you look at the thinking about the land question, it's been, it's been deliberately obfuscated and presented as if African people want land to own individually, as individuals, when in fact, we want the land to, in order to, his, to, to resolve that historical collective injustice that was meted against us by colonialism, you know. Our people in South Africa had accepted that they shall live in squalor condition for the rest of the li their lives. As you'll see when you fly on top of Cape Town to land in the Cape Town International Airport what then President Mbegi called the two economy society. You have got the rich 
in the poor. Currently, only 13% of the land belongs to the state. The entire 87% is in the hands of white people, who majority of them do not reside in South Africa. So you see a lot of empty land, abandoned land, which is just camped. You see a fence, but there's no owner there. There is no country in the world in which you can have a settler colonial class coming to occupy the land and then usurping it. And then after freedom, still maintaining the fundamentals of that settlement and usurpation. And then the formerly oppressed class being told that, sorry, you must just accept the status quo. It is corrupt that the land is only in the hands of a specific race group and they circulate it amongst themselves. That's corrupt. This is News Live SA.